But I tell you what, every hospital that my wife and I go into and, and consult with, we have been staggered in the last year. Usually we do this for board retreats. We'll come in and spend a couple of days pulling the covers back, just, just talking to people, just going around separately, talking to the nurses, talking to the docs, talking to housekeepers, and asking what's going on. And then we'll sit down with the board and we'll sometimes, like we did just recently, tell them a bunch of stories that came from, quote, a hospital, end quote. And by the end of the morning, when they were all rolling their eyes at these terrible things that occurred somewhere else, we let them know, no, they occurred right here. The problem is, well, like a friend of mine who made Brigadier General in the U.S. Air Force a number of years ago, a gentleman by the name of John McFall. John's dad had been a four-star general. And a four-star who had been a friend of his father's was nice enough to come down to the ceremony and shake John's hand, pin his star on his shoulders. Big, big deal to make general officer in the military, as many of you know. He shook, shook his hand, looked him in the eye, and said under his breath, Congratulations, General. No one will ever tell you the truth again. Isn't that our endemic problem? Trying to find out what's going on and the best efforts that you put forward, and you still go to bed at night wondering, do you really know what's happening on those front lines. So one of the things that I want to advocate to you this morning is that one of the takeaways is to look beyond the nose down position of all the tactical things you have to deal with and start asking some really tough questions about how can you get into the woodwork? How can you spend a little more time managing by sitting around, getting to know what that front line group thinks and what they feel? And for you docs, for you CMOs, how in the world do you really get to know where that point of resistance is and who your maximum resistors are who may not have popped up on your radar, but are still being very dilatorious in saying, that that's not the way I'm going to do things. Timeouts, for instance. Atul is going to talk about this. As a matter of fact, by the way, I'll, I'll set him up on this because for the last six months, I probably sold more books than any of his uh, other interests for him because I've said to boards all over the country, if you are going to do your job properly, especially with respect to things that we know need, that need to be done, you need to buy a copy of Atul's book for every single solitary doctor in your establishment, make it required reading, and suspend their privileges if they refuse. It's that important. Why? Is everybody going to agree 100%? No, it's just like the journey he takes you on from the beginning to the end of that book, the journey of a surgeon who started out as the normal maverick saying, well, don't tell me how to practice medicine, and then ends up saying, my God, we need to be exporting these principles of checklist philosophy to other industries. It is, by the way, one of the key reasons that you can come and go to New York or anywhere else in the world on an airliner and have an infinitesimal chance of getting hurt. Not well fed, of course. That we're not going to do well getting hurt. It's because it frames the issue. It frames the issue and it crystallizes the fact that the resistance is based on training that was for a previous century. And this, unfortunately, is not just true with docs because we have interfaced with this same reality and training for a long time. How many, for the UCNOs, how many times have you yourself or your nurses started a conversation with a doctor? And I'm not talking about the weakest links. I'm talking about some of your really strong-minded nurses. I'm sorry to bother you, doc, but you put yourself on a different level. We do this throughout American medicine. It's not just about doctor-nurse relationships. It's about the way we look at the philosophy of the practice of medicine.